Hi my loves, how's it going? How are you guys doing? So today I'm going to be doing a July Beauty Empties and honestly I'm surprised at how many products I've used up again for this month. It's shocking and I can't wait to share this with you guys. If you like these types of videos please make sure that you like, subscribe and leave your comments down below um, if you're also like collecting your monthly empties and what your favourites are too because I love chatting with you guys down there. Anyway let's just roll into the video. Okay, so when I said I've got a big basket, I was not joking. I mean, it's not that big, but it's overflowing and that's when you know it's been a good, like, panning month. Um, there's a lot of products in here and this is kind of like the same as last month's. Basically, I have had a lot of products that I've had a lot of usage on and I tend to either continue using these products and forgetting about them for some period of time, then remembering to use them again and then forgetting to use it again. Or they're like small products, which hasn't taken me too long to use. And they're products that if you use consistently, it'll like it'll be like an empty within like a week or two. That's the other thing. The third thing is some of these products I have been using consistently back to back for several days or like several months, and that's how I've used it up. A lot of the times it is I'm using something up, forget about it, and use it again. Um, and some of these are just like slow progress. Like there will be progress, but it's just so slow to see, and it's been here for like over a year. <laughs> so yeah. Um, let's just let's just dig in so the most recent mt that i've had is this indeed um laboratories no acid pads these were gentle exfoliating pads these do not irritate my skin at all even if i use these like every night for like a week or so these really do not irritate my skin and i'm really happy with that it was like a i think 30 pads in here which is not bad but i got this as i think a free gift of purchase I think it was a free gift to purchase or one of those like, goodie bags that you get for free after you spent so much money I am really trying hard not to continuously keep doing that because you end up with so many products that you don't even end up liking or enjoying and it's just like a waste so I'm trying to stay far away from that as possible so a lot of these products are really old and that's when my shopping addiction I feel like was the worst so I'm trying to get better and trying to use up products because of that now um but no this was a good product i did really enjoy this and i can see myself picking these up again um and i would also like to see what else um indeed laboratories sells or what else they do next product is a perfume and this is the mark jacobs dot perfume i love this and you know people are always saying like perfumes can expire perfumes can't expire i feel like they do expire um and they definitely can i feel like the scent of this perfume is no longer the same as it was when I originally had it, there was like a slight difference in the scent. It still smells delicious and I love it, but I do, I can tell that there's that difference. I have a bunch of perfumes from like years ago um, that has like half, that's been half used or like a quarter used. And I really want to essentially reduce the type, like the amount of stuff that I have. So, and also I'm really worried that my, like, perfumes are gonna like expire on me because the one I used up in the last update um for like beauty empties had actually expired which made me really sad because perfumes are not cheap and none of these like none of the ones I have are cheap anyway so it's just like what's the point so I'm now trying to like focus in on specific fragrances and this one was for the month of July they it was about this much that was left I think about that much there wasn't that much left in here and I was using this almost like five days a week so I got a lot of use out of this and I really did enjoy this I can definitely see myself picking this up again but I'm not buying any more perfumes until I've used up at least like 10 of these and gotten rid of like half my samples because I have so many samples for some reason as well but no, I really did enjoy this and definitely will see myself repurchasing in the future only if it's on sale never on full price um, the next product I used up was the Trichology Intensive Scalp Conditioner this honestly Oh, smells so good my mum always compliments my hair whenever I was using this because it's just it's such a strong like when I say strong I don't mean like it's such a strong like oh what the hell is that smell but it's got like so, such a strong fragrance to it that other people around you can definitely pick up that on the scent but the scent of this is so beautiful it's caffeine lime and ginseng I, it's just so nice I have the shampoo that I'm currently using up and I really 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 do enjoy this I don't know if I can necessarily see the biggest difference in terms of my scalp health. There is definitely a difference happening, but like, it's not like a major difference. Um, but again, like, it's the whole issue of like not consistently using up a product. 
this I tried to avoid using on my scalp because I felt like if I did that my hair would start to become really oily very quick like literally in the next day once I've showered um, so that's the only downside of this conditioner using like all over your hair but whenever I did use it on the ends it made it really nice and like smooth and soft and I did enjoy this it's also fairly affordable I think last time I checked this is like four pounds it's not bad for like a drugstore product um you get 250 mils in it I tend like I ended up just using this up so quickly but it was so good and I can I'm definitely going to pick another one up of these I know I'm going to dye my hair like soon so I'll probably won't pick it up until like I've had the dyed hair for at least like, two to three months and then after that I don't really care once the color starts to fade then I just experiment with, with whatever the only reason I say this is because I don't know if this is color safe or not I tried to look it up I couldn't find the answer um if you know please let me know <laughs> but you know I really like this and I would definitely recommend Another hair empty I have is this Cantu Shea Butter Wave Whip Curling Mousse. I feel like I've been trying to pan this for like over a year to a year and a half. So when when I was saying like talking at the start, this is one of those products I was talking about. This took me such a long time and finally it's empty. This is uh, 8.4... Wait, what? Ounces. Uh, or like 258 mils. So yeah it took me a while um i was i threw this into like a project pan and this that's why you can see all of these down the sides it was a good product i did like it it wasn't sticky it wasn't greasy it wasn't gritty it didn't make my hair feel weird or heavy i experimented with this as well like i used a lot of mousse and it, it was fine like it dried down and it felt like i didn't have anything in my hair which i really liked and it did make my hair really nice and wavy and I did enjoy this and I cannot actually miss this product. Um, and I'm thinking of picking this up again, just not yet, because I have a few other products I want to get through first. But I did actually really enjoy this. If you have any good sort of like mousses that you recommend specifically, let me know. Because I know there's like shea butter at the moment is like a bit controversial with like hair care and stuff. Um, I haven't really like kept to up to date with that sort of conversation but i know that that's kind of like something that's kicking off a little bit on tiktok but I, again i did really enjoy this so i don't know let's see i think the last sort of hair product i used up for the month was this nature spells authentic um jamaican black cast oil with rosemary this is quite a heavy oil so this is not for everyone um i used it specifically on my scalp and then sometimes i would use it on my ends that was quite nice but you really need to like double triple cleanse to get this one out again it depends on your hair type sometimes when i would go too heavy handed then i would have to like cleanse my hair three times to get it all out or, or like i think it was just like an ocd thing as well so there's that aspect to it but i did actually enjoy this i don't know if i would repurchase this one again i think i because i already have a, my rosemary one um, I'm going to be using that one next but then there's another hair oil I really want to try it's by a different brand um, and I think I'm more li most likely going to try that one next and then I'll see and I might go between that one and the Nature Smile Rosemary one so let's see what I do let's see how like this kind of goes but I did enjoy this I lied I think I have one more hair product this was the um, Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray this is my supposed to like magically transform texture amazing humidity proofing powers i feel like it's nonsense but that's just my opinion i don't really see what this has done if anything on my hair they say that you can use this and get through three to four shampoos before you need to use it again like i don't feel like it made that big of a change for me it's like notice i mean if it did to you please let me know but i just i don't feel like this is one of those products that like it really makes a big difference i feel like this is one of those that you're kind of wasting your money on and i'm sure there's like much cheaper alternatives available in the market anyway um i'm not sure the exact price of this i feel like it's fairly expensive but this is like a mini that i got as like a free gift of purchase i have a second one that they sent and i feel like this is one of those products if it does not sell well they tend to just throw it in as like a free gift of purchase and i feel like that's what happened with this product i have one more so i will give it a go and continue using this i think i need to kind of try to use this more regularly to kind of see the actual like difference possibly and maybe then i can let you guys know know a better like um opinion or like we'll, we'll see nope i found some more hair products i think i'm just gonna stop saying that this one's the last one because I tend to keep picking up something else that then ends up 
yeah anyway um this is the body shop ginger scalp serum at the start this kind of helped this is supposed to be for a nourished and rebalanced scalp i have a bit of like dry patch on um my scalp it's not cirrhosis it's, there's another one and i always forget the name of it um but i was using this when i would get like a really itchy or really dry scalp and it did help but i feel like towards the end it kind of stopped working to its full effect because this was really old i think i got this from my brother originally like two three years ago and he used it once but it really irritated his scalp or it made it really itchy and so he just gave it back to me because it's not working for me so you can use it and by the time i got around to using it this was like old um so i've really focused on using this up this year and i'm glad i did another product out and done i probably won't repurchase it again i just the body shop i didn't realize it was an mlm until i realized a couple of years ago and then i stopped buying their products so i don't really i don't really want to support any mlm business i just don't think that's a good business model to have like it's so like th there's so many videos that explain all of that and i cannot put things in like words really well but i just it just not i don't like the way the business model is it's just it does not work and it really preys on people's vulnerabilities as well so i don't really recommend it for that reason and that's why i tend to stay away from them but i'm just glad that this product is out um i use a bunch of like body products this month as well this is the rich lodging um relaxing body scrub i use this up really quickly really like this product i probably wouldn't like buy this myself i got this as like a, in a gift set when i bought this for myself a couple i want to say maybe last year the year before that um i bought a bunch of this i think there was this one there was like a pillow mist there was a hand lotion i think and one of the product but i can't remember what it was but um i've used this up now it was really nice this is probably my favorite scent from rituals it is just so good i'm eventually gonna buy the um room fragrance thing again um, but you know, I really, really like this product. Another kind of skincare product was the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner. This is like the first essence product. This is free of alcohol and fragrance, which I really liked. This is such a good hydrating toner. I, for the life of me, cannot get the last little bit out. So I'm calling it empty. This was so good. I have used up their, um, what do you call it? um cleansing oil before and i really enjoyed that too and this is also so good this i got from yes styles and i'm not gonna lie i can definitely see myself repurchasing like this 10 times over um so definitely a good product to use really hydrating i felt like it really worked for my skin it didn't it didn't end up making anything um pill on me either which sometimes i have i have had issues with some skin products doing that this one didn't do that at all and i really enjoyed this hydrating sat so well really absorbed into my skin i really like this so definitely would recommend and i will definitely be repurchasing this in the future um i also use up the ritual maher um body mousse oil i don't necessarily like using body oils i feel like it just makes me feel really like i don't know it's like a texture thing like i just don't like it um also if the oil turns to be sticky this wasn't sticky this was like really dry oil so that was nice this has got sweet orange and cedar wood in it so it's not a bad product but i got this in i think last year or the year before they did like a summer advent calendar or something like that and it had a bunch of different products in it it wasn't bad and i'm glad this was just like a small sample of this but i'm just glad that it's out of my collection i don't see myself buying this because body oils are not really for me um so i'm just glad that this is one product out that i'm not going to be repurchasing again not that there was anything wrong with it it's just not a product that i see myself using another product from the body shop which i've had for some time and this was also given to me by my brother because he bought a lot of stuff and then he didn't end up using a lot of these um so this is the body cream glowing cherry blossom this is the a joyful a set joyful blend of japanese cherry blossom osmanthus and sandalwood notes to spark happiness did this did smell really good. Um, it's a fairly big product. It says 200 mils in it. I was using this on and off for such a long time. And it was like the smallest bit left. So I was like, okay, it's been, like I'm trying to use that for like months now. Let me just like finish up the rest of it. And I did. And honestly, I'm so happy I did. Um, it, it did smell good. I would probably miss the smell of it. I just don't see myself having to go back and buy this again. It is what it is it's fine it was a good product if you enjoyed like shopping at the body shop that's fair enough 
um, if I was shopping there, I would most likely pick this up again and try the different scents. But only because it's an m and I just, I can't do it. Um, so I won't be repurchasing anything from the body shop, or at least try to avoid kind of purchasing from them. Used up another product. This I've had for ages. It's like so dusty and disgusting. This is the Esper Grounding Crystals. This was given in like a Christmas beauty advent calendar like two, I think three years ago. Yeah, if crystals are for you, great, you might love this, but it just didn't really add anything to my bath. And I'm not really a bath girl anyway, and like the bath that we have is just rubbish. It's quite small, cramped, you can't really enjoy a proper bath. So yeah. Next, I used up the Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. Um, I used up this for one. I've got another one currently in my rotation because I have two for some reason. I don't remember how I got two. I think I bought one and then I bought a Glow Recipe Edit from Cult Beauty and this was in there as well, I think. Um, that's how I ended up with two. I don't think I... I can't really notice a difference with my dark spots. Um, this does have vitamin C in it, so I would assume that it would really pick up, but it's not really making my dark spots disappear. I have a lot because I get a lot of acne and um, even when the acne heals and I've not popped the spots, they do always leave hyperpigmentation. There's one like down here, I've got quite a few spots here. I've got quite a bit of like hyperpigmentation on my forehead due to the acne. And I just, I don't see myself repurchasing this product because it's not made a difference so quick for me and I feel like it's a waste for me to buy this. And also Glow Recipe products are not cheap. This is such a, it's a really nice product to use. Again, it's very fine. It's not, it's a thin product. It's a good formula. It's not something that like um, doesn't work with other products. It works with anything else I've used so which I love about this. But I just, I can't see myself and this current moment repurchasing this at the price it is because it hasn't made a big difference to my skin the way I would like it to. That being said, if I think, if I had the budget for this, I would probably repurchase this. But because I don't have the budget for this, I'm going to find other alternatives. Also, this is one of those vitamin C's that's actually worked on my skin and not irritated my skin. Because I know some vitamin C's do irritate people's skin who have oily skin oily skin so i mean that was really interesting to me but yeah it's a nice product it's a very it does show progress but it's very very slow and it is quite expensive so i will definitely be trying other products instead for a short time and you know when i'm rolling in money then maybe i can repurchase this next up is an eye cream that i use this is by sunday riley it's the autocorrect brightening and depuffing eye contour cream my god this is like five ounces and this is like 15 mils but this lasted me for so long i know there's like a long period of time and i wasn't doing my skincare and stuff but boy i've been using this since like last year at some point i think it like this rolled into my skincare rotation like before october last year and i've had it for a long time this was a good product this has caffeine lutein and horse chestnut it was nice um it kind of cancelled out my like dark circles that i have it was a good product. I don't know much about Sunday Riley as a brand itself. I'm gonna assume this is quite expensive product. It looks kind of expensive. So yeah, but if I could, I would probably repurchase this. It was a nice product to use. And my dark circles are really dark as well. Um, and I did feel, I, I could tell a difference um, when I did use this, like it was slightly cancelling out the darkness. And I do feel like a, a lot of it did go, like I had really dark circles before, but it has gotten better since I have been using this. This one and the Glow Recipe Retinol Under Eye Cream, I feel like both of them have made like a big difference to my um, under eyes. So I can definitely see myself repurchasing both of those. Um, so yeah. Next up is another fragrance. This was some cheap fragrance that we got when we were out in Dubai from the um, Global Village. I think it was just a scam. Basically they put a bit of fragrance in water and like mix this up and they're like, trying to sell this as like um this really amazing expensive perfume it's not it's literally a watered down perfume um which sucks and to the guy who scammed us i hope you have a bad day and <laughs> i've used up this as much as i can there's a bit left in here but it's not coming out at all and honestly i don't care for it i have used this up to the best of my thing i'm happy with another fragrance being out of my collection um couldn't be happier at this point I've used up this bio Biosense Squalane and Glycolic Renewal Mask. This works and I really did enjoy using this. This is um, 
I think this has like AHAs and something else in here as well. I don't know, but this is a good product to use. I got this mini to test out, I think, and a free gift purchase again. You're probably thinking like, are you really getting those? But no, I, I have only because, like I mentioned, I have had really bad spending habits in the past. Obviously, it's still kind of bad um, and I'm working towards it. But before I used to get a lot of like free gift purchase after spending like £100, 200 or whatever the hell it was like on sephora before that it was full unique look fantastic used to do it so did cold beauty so because of all of that i've ended up with so many of these like little knickknack products that i personally wouldn't have gone out to buy um but i've ended up with those so yeah um this was a good product i have used stuff previously from biosense and i have enjoyed them i can definitely see myself picking this up again in the future and testing out other products from this brand too um but no i did actually really enjoy this and i can see myself picking up this particular mask again even though i said with the masks i only want it to be either like a clay mask or one that can like peel off everything off my face but this is like an exception to that rule like this was that good that i can definitely see myself repurchasing this in the future i used up this versed the shortcut overnight facial peel this had lactic and glycolic acid in it this was not a bad product but i feel like it just wasn't as effective as it would have been if i used it at the time that i got it i feel like by the time i've used it it's probably started to expire a little bit but it definitely did start i could see a noticeable difference it was a little bit um but it was there it was enough for me to see like okay no this works um again like i wasn't really consistent with using sub i'll probably use it once and forget about it for like a week and a half two weeks sometimes longer than that go back to use it again but the times that i did use it you can tell the difference so i can definitely see myself picking this one up again and i know this is sold um quite easy like it is readily available at like places like boots so that, that does make it easier when it comes to like repurchasing skincare and stuff so not something that i need straight away but definitely something that will go onto my wish list to repurchase at a later date I used up a hand cream, which is nice. This was the Body Shop Avocado Hand Balm. This is quite a nice one. I really like this. It's very hydrating. Um, this was also recommended to me by, I think, one of my cousins. Because um, they have, like, really, like, dry skin. Like, I think, eczema prone dry skin. And this is something that they really enjoyed. I like this too. And I think this is a really good product. If you do shop at Body Shop, pick up this hand cream. This is really, really good. Especially if you've got dry skin. Um, I love this. Hands down, recommend. I say that depending on if that's if you shop body shop because i don't really like tell i don't really want to tell people where they should and shouldn't shop but do you know what i mean um the next product is the avant rose quartz hyaluronic sweet almond avocado oil face mask this was i don't even know i don't like products like these i don't feel like i need a hydrating mask like that by the time i got around to using this it was already kind of old this was like a free gift purchased i just know people were not buying this product for this to be thrown in as like i think it was a free gift purchase or i think i bought no that's a lie i got a free look fantastic um beauty box edit box when i bought something um and this was in there and you just you just know that if this product is being thrown or well, if anything from this brand is being thrown in there is probably because it's not being used i have looked up some of the products being sold by avant they cost over 100 pounds sometimes a little bit cheaper but by a little bit i mean like maybe an 80 like 90 pound mark yeah this brand is not cheap and i just don't see myself repurchasing something like this because it's not something that i need especially because my skin is really oily um if you have dry skin you might like this but i just don't like the texture of this either so for me it's a no um and i'm not forking out that much money on a product that i that i thought was just like okay so yeah um, so I have this one pillow and body mist. I use this specifically on my pillow and I really like this. I did feel like it did kind of help me like fall asleep, but I don't know if it's like a gimmick or not, but I feel like it did kind of help. Again, the Ritual Jing is like my favourite, favourite scent. And I will, if I, whenever I do have the budget to, I'll always pick up products on this particular line because it's just so nice. I can definitely see myself repurchasing this again. I have another perfume I use, but this is like a sample. This is the Kayali Maldives in a bottle. I bought the sample set first before I bought like the um, the other uh, set of like perfumes, which I think is like 10 or 20 mils. This is quite a nice scent and I did actually enjoy all of them. 
this is it's like a warm scent it's coconutty i feel like this is something that you would wear on like summer's day or like if you were out on vacation or like holiday somewhere nice and warm like that's it's definitely giving one of those scents this was nice it was a good perfume i don't think i would probably I don't think if I was to use up the one that I have right now, I would probably go back and purchase as an individual in like a bigger set, like the bigger bottle, even though they don't have the bigger bottle. But that's not one of my like absolute like favourite perfumes I can see myself like buying repeatedly. But it was still a nice perfume that I enjoyed using um, and it was a good scent. I have a load of samples that I need to use up. Um, so I'm going to try to focus in on like using up as many perfumes especially samples as i can by the end of the year so let's see how this goes used up a pack of wipes as well this is just the tea tree wipes from sainsbury's i um if i'm having when i'm really like going through like the depression and the low moods if i've ever done my makeup and i need to take take it off i get really lazy and i and i won't take it off like properly so i keep these on hand for the times when i need it or if I have I use makeup in the back of my hands sometimes and I hate the feeling of like like foundation on my hands it just really bugs me so I keep a pack of wipes with me I know it's like a big waste and I do have like the microfiber towels but I feel like it just doesn't cut it for me and I feel like I need something like this and I don't want to like keep going to the toilet like 20 times to like wash my makeup off it's just that's just long and like I said I can't be faffing around when I do sometimes these things but no this is just like when I use it for those things and I have used this up I'm happy that this is gone because it wasn't that great but it was really like the tea tree scent was strong in this so if you are allergic to fragrance or it can break you out please be careful with uh, that um, and also I feel like that particular wipes also irritated my skin as well which is kind of rare because I don't really get irritation that easily so that was interesting to me um, the next lot of stuff is just makeup empties. I had this um, Dusty Rose Nanshi, I think is a brand, um, like a beauty sponge from them. It's a really nice colour, but this is the worst makeup sponge I've used in my life. And this is really shocking. Um, and I've used a bunch of different like beauty sponges. I've used a cheap cheap ones that you get from like Primark and those were better than whatever this was. I used this on two, three different foundations and it was just such a nightmare. I used this dry, I used this damp, I used this after like trying to, I used this after I used a foundation brush to like just like soften up the edges. Whatever I did, this just did not work. This is the biggest failure ever in terms of a makeup sponge. And honestly, I don't know how you can go wrong with something so basic like a makeup sponge. This really did not work. Um, and I used this and I'd really tried for like a month to use this. But I'm not I'm not doing that. This is gonna go in the bin. Um, but this is definitely like a fail. I didn't even know where this brand is sold from. Um, I just got this like thrown into one of my orders. Again, I don't remember from which website. It was just thrown in there. This has been in my collect, like in my sort of drawers for a very, very long time. And I thought, oh, do you know what? It's getting kind of old. Let me like use this sponge. I mean, I know sponges don't really expire, but like still, I thought, let me just use it up. Um, or like be the next one to use up. Yeah, I I was so shocked at how bad this was. But let's just leave it at that. And for the rest of the products, it's three makeup products. And honestly, I am just over the moon even if it's one makeup product each month that's still better than you know nothing because i have a lot of makeup unfortunately but it is what it is the first one is this elf cherry slush um sheer lipstick i left my lip balm at my cousin's house so i started to use it up as like an alternative to lip balm but it was tinted this was a nice shade really nice it also made a really good like um bright lipstick to go out you just had to like really like kind of top it up and it made a really nice color um i did enjoy this formula it's a nice formula i just don't see myself repurchasing this particular type of shade because i don't really gravitate towards bright colors like this like bright pinks or reds and stuff like that they're really reserved for like the rare occasion that i do decide to wear it um it was a nice product it's also good like affordable product as well from elf 
I don't know if this particular one is being sold because I know they discontinued these for a while and they brought back the black cherry or the black cherry one which is like the dupe of the Clinique the cherry that's like really popular um I think I'm sure the name's wrong that I'm saying but no that's that's kind of like you guys know what I mean but this was a decent product I did enjoy this I do have a few others that I want to use up as well but I don't think I'm going to use this up for a while now I'm going to give myself a bit of a break from using such a bright color um but yeah next product is this elf lip lacquer this was the shade moody and i really enjoyed using this i think yeah i took the stopper out and i used as much of this as i could i got as much of this out but i have so many lip glosses that i don't really care if this much is left behind um it was a really good color i went with almost anything i wore and i liked the formula of this it wasn't heavy it wasn't too sticky it wasn't it didn't leave like a weird residue on my lips afterwards so i really enjoyed this and i'm really happy that this is now gone i have a few other lip glosses from elf and i think i'm going to kind of focus in on using those only because this is a quick a gloss for me to use up and i was generally quite surprised as how quickly i could actually pan this so i was quite happy with that and i'm just glad that there's one gloss out of my collection and the last product in my july mts is this iconic london triple threat mascara this is by far my favorite mascara especially high-end mascaras this is so good i feel like there's a few products from iconic london that have really stood out to me and this is one of them and i can definitely see myself repurchasing this several times this is so good i feel like it just made my lash look perfect and for um a mascara um i'm glad that it didn't irritate my eyes it was easy to use it wasn't too clumpy um, it didn't dry out that quickly, as in like, so I feel like some mascaras, they can dry out really quickly when you keep like using them, because obviously you're dipping in and out or whatever. This one didn't do that. Um, but the only reason it dried out is because this was over, it, it was in my collection for over three years. So of course, because it had been so long, it obviously dried out on me like that. But I know when I used it, the fresh one of these, it didn't, it took a long time before the actual formula started to dry out. So this was nice. Definitely be repurchasing this in the future. Um, and I'm really happy with that. That is now the end of my July empties. That was again quite a lot. I don't think I'm gonna have the same amount of empties next month, but let's let's see how that goes. I am really happy with the stuff that I have finished this month because some of these, like I'm not gonna lie, I've been hate panning and I don't really enjoy hate panning, but it is what it is. But yeah, that's literally everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you do, please make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, follow me over on Instagram, TikTok and the likes. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.